So I am 168.6, this is my starting weight. What's up, booze? So welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are new, hello, my name is Keisha. Hit that subscribe button before you leave because if not, you're going to be missing out. Trust me, okay? Also, follow me on Instagram at Keisha Rose too. You guys, I am here today. I know that we've all been quarantining. A lot of us has been gaining weight. We've been, you know, doing the most as far as eating in the kitchen and stuff like that. But I'm here with some motivation for you guys today, some Monday motivation, showing you guys how I lost weight. I recently gained 13 pounds and I recently lost 19, almost 20 pounds in less than a month. Okay, so I'm going to get into all of the details, let you guys know how I lost my weight so you guys can lose it too. I have a whole bunch of weight loss videos here on my channel, so feel free to subscribe and watch them and binge watch all of my videos okay because that's what i talk about a lot is weight loss healthy lifestyle and different things like that so i do have my notes on the side that i want to talk to you guys i did switch it up this time around just a tiny bit losing my weight um just because i wanted to i got kind of bored so i'm going to let you guys know what i did so number one what i did was of course of course of course if you are not new i mean if you are not new to my channel you already know this but intermittent fast intermittent fasting is good it it, it does so much i was about to literally break down everything that it um, do for you and if i do that this video will be like an hour long okay so i'll put all of the links down below where you can see what intermittent what intermittent fasting does for your body it really does your body good so I'll put all of that below. So I do the 16-8 method. There's so many different methods out there. There's the one meal a day, the 16-8, the blah, 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 this and blah, 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 that, okay? Um, yeah, I do 16-8 and it works wonders for me, okay? And with intermittent fasting, I'm not good. Like I said, I'm not gonna get too deep into it, but it really does kickstart your weight loss. It really does shrink your stomach. It really, really does work, so... If you try to leave some of your testimonies down below when it comes down to intermittent fasting to help others to get on their weight loss journey as well. The next thing is, I recently <laughs> became full vegan again. Um, some of you may not know, I was already vegan about eight, nine months ago. I was vegan for years. I was, was it 10 years, nine? It was something like that. It was a whole, a long period of time. I stopped being vegan, started eating seafood again, and I didn't introduce like, like um, chicken and any um, like, what else is it that people eat? Eggs and cheese and all of that stuff. If you eat that, I encourage you to stop, okay? Because you're not doing your body any good. But if you do eat it, whatever, I'm not judging. I'm just telling you. But I um, started eating just seafood. I introduced seafood back into my diet and um, I stopped. I stopped because my blood pressure spiked up just recently. So I know how to reverse that real quick with a plant-based diet. So I plan on being vegan now for the rest of my life, okay? Because that just was my body telling me, look, sis, it's more to it. If you guys want to know more about that, let me know. I probably won't do a video. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyway, yes, yeah, so I became fully vegan. And of course, when you are fully vegan, you get more of a bang for your buck when it comes down to calories. Okay. You, if you're a meat eater, that piece of meat that you eat is probably, you, you basically, you get fuller on a vegan diet than when you eat meat, in my opinion. So that's what I did with that. I upped my protein as well. Um, it's more balanced instead of, you know, high carb, high protein, whatever. I just balance out my meals. My plate looks like a rainbow and it has protein. If you are vegan, tempeh, tofu, um, it, it's so many things, places that you can get your protein. Beans have protein. Almost everything you eat as a vegan has protein in it. So if you want to go vegan, you want to go plant-based, do not let anyone tell you, oh, where are you going to get your protein? That's like the go-to thing that people say when it comes down to a vegan diet. I'm not saying you have to go vegan. I t totally know for a fact that you can lose weight not being a vegan. I've done it before. Plenty of people have done it before. So don't let that deter you when it comes down to what I did to lose my weight. I didn't go vegan because of weight loss. I just went vegan because my blood pressure spiked. And because if that's the case, I would have still been eating my salmon and shrimp and different things like that. But 
yeah, I went because my body kind of forced me into it. So you don't have to be vegan. So don't take that and think that because you're not vegan, you won't lose your weight because you will. Okay. The next thing that I did, I talked about my protein. Um, the next thing that I did portion control, you guys, during this pandemic, a lot of us are overeating. We are overeating and we're not realizing it. We're watching TV. We're watching a bunch of movies, a bunch of Netflix and and chilling and Hulu and all of this stuff. And we are not realizing how much food we're putting into our body. I know for me, sis, I was at that refrigerator all the time, like gimme, gimme, gimme. And I, I, y'all know, for those of you who are not new to my channel, know that I know a whole bunch about weight loss and weight gain and stuff like that. So I knew if I gained the weight, I can get it off because I'm good at that. It's not good to be gaining and, and losing weight, fluctuating like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not an advocate for that. But what I'm saying is I know how to lose weight. But I was at my refrigerator like, what's up? Where the meal? Run me my meal refrigerator. Run it to me. Okay. So... I know if you're watching this video, that's probably what you were doing too. A lot of people, what they do is lie to themselves and, oh, excuse me, y'all. I had to burp. A lot of people lie to themselves and be like, sis, why am I gaining weight? I don't even eat that much. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, you do. Because that's the only way you're going to be gaining weight is if you're overeating. If you are consuming more calories than you are burning in a day, you are going to gain weight. Newsflash. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just stepped away from that refrigerator. I don't eat after a certain time. Like I said, I intermittent fast. I intermittent fast just naturally anyway, even gaining the weight, I still was intermittent fasting. It's just like a lifestyle to me at this point. But yeah, I just stepped away from that fridge, eat at my certain times, don't go back for seconds. If I'm not hungry, I don't eat. And that's the thing with intermittent fasting. It helps you to balance out whether you're hungry or not. If you're hungry, you're going to feel it. If you're not, you're not going to feel it because it shrinks your stomach and, you know, do all that good stuff. So yeah, portion control is the number one key to losing weight. Calorie counting, being in a calorie deficit. You can literally lose weight without working out, but you cannot, you can you cannot outwork a bad diet, basically, okay? You can you can sit there and you can lose weight by not working out, but if you eat and eat and eat, you cannot lose weight. <laughs> you have to be in that deficit. You don't have to work out to lose weight. I work out specifically to make sure I keep a healthy heart. I want my heart to be healthy. I want my vascular system to run smoothly. I want to be a smooth operating human being. So I choose to work out to keep myself going, okay? But um, it's up to you whether you wanna work out. The next thing I have on here, no, as I said before, no dairy, no eggs, no none of that stuff. Some people like it, some people don't, eh, whatever. It's up to you, how, whatever you choose to eat. I definitely stayed away from fried food. Fried food is the devil on wheels, honey. <laughs> I'm telling you, I cannot, I cannot. I was eating, um, before I went vegan again, I was eating fried, um, what is it? Fried snapper and catfish like a mug. It was crazy. It was so good. It was like clutch, but not clutch for my health. Okay. But it was really good. So I stopped that. Stay away from that. Stay away from fried foods, period. It had me feeling nasty, bloated, horrible, but it just tastes so good. That's the thing with a lot of the, these foods. The best foods will, I mean, the worst foods will taste the best and the best foods will taste the worst. So yes, yeah, stay away from that fried food. It's the devil. No, <laughs> anyway, um, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about that I did and that I know can for sure help you guys too is I drank water before every single meal. Okay. So I have this 20 ounce bottle of water right here. First of all, I drink a ton of water every single day anyway, but specifically before I have my meals, what I did and still do is drink one of these, a full one right before I eat. And then it helps the body. It helps your body to kind of recognize more when it's full. And another thing, don't sit in front of that TV. I know this is, is we quarantining right now. So a lot of people's going to say, girl, what do you mean? You're, you playing, don't play with me, but try not to sit in front of the TV and be on your phone looking at it while you're eating because your mind is not clicking with your body and saying that it's full. Before you know it, you have been in over eight. But if you meal prep, the good thing about meal prepping is that if you meal prep and meal prep in those small containers, I know I'm kind of jumping around real quick, but I, I'm just giving you guys tips that's coming to my head. So if you meal prep those containers, 
you'll know exactly how much you're eating. If you weigh out your foods and different things like that, that's another thing that I recommend is meal prepping because you cannot go wrong with that. You know your calories, you know what you're eating, you can input it into, like me, I use the Lose It app, that's a free app. Um, I use that. A lot of you who already been subscribed know that that's the app that I use. Just put all, input all my food in there. It'll tell me my macro, all of my macros. It'll tell me my calories and how much, you know, I had in the day total. So yeah, those three things, drink your water, track your calories with your calorie counter and, um, um, try not to be watching TV and stuff while you're eating. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Just try not to do it. And I guarantee you it'll work. You'll notice that you're full faster. Your receptors, your brain receptors will let you know faster that you're full versus later on. You'll be like, oh my God, I shouldn't have ate all that food. Well, that's because you was on YouTube watching that drama. No, I'm just Another thing that I wanted to um, talk to you guys about is what I did as far as my working out. Now you guys know that I plainly just told y'all, you do not have to work out. You do not have to. Me working out is my choice. I recommend working out regardless if you're trying to lose weight or not. I definitely recommend a workout plan, but if you're not going to work out, whatever. But I did the um, Chloe Ting. She's a fellow YouTuber, you know, here on YouTube. I'll put her 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 link in the description below. I did her two week shred. I just stretched it out longer than two weeks, and that stuff kicks ass, y'all. It kicks ass. It's really really good. Um, she has some people on here on YouTube talking about it don't work. Let me tell. Let me school you real quick, okay? Like I just said, if you she's giving you the keys to work out. I am right now giving you the keys to eat. But if you're not marrying the two, nothing is going to happen, okay? So if you're sitting up there doing her workout, but eating a bunch of Twinkies all day and overeating and you're in a calorie and you're not in a calorie deficit, you're in a surplus, sis, you're gonna gain weight. That's just how life works. Your body, every, it's numbers, okay? It's numbers. So with that being said, it does work. I'm here to tell you the proof is in the pudding at the beginning of this um, video. You guys can see that's 19 pounds, less than a month doing all of these things combined. You have to eat right. You have to be in a deficit. I don't know how many times I have to say this. You have to be in a deficit because if you're not in a deficit, nothing will work. If you take anything away from this video today, just take away in order to lose weight, Keisha said, I need to be in a deficit, in a deficit, in a calorie deficit. Don't even listen to me. Do your research, okay? Even go and eat two meals a day instead of that third meal and watch your body start shredding. It's simple. So yeah, it, Chloe Ting, her, um, her two week shred does work. It's kick ass. I'm loving it. I love it. I did it for that time. Now I'm back to doing my hit. I love, if you don't know what hit is high intensity interval training. And I do it on my treadmill, uh, 60 seconds off a minute and 20 seconds on 60 seconds, you know, 60 seconds going a minute and 20, 60, <laughs> 60 seconds running. A minute and 20 seconds stop okay that's how hit work you keep doing that and I do that for about 30 30 to 35 minutes on a daily basis okay that's my go-to and I think that's it that I wanted to talk to you guys about that's all I have in my book and like I said the takeaway from this video is we are all I know I know I know if you gain weight from this quarantine if you get already was overweight and gain more weight I understand. I am here with you. If you look through my channel, I've been on this roller coaster for a long time. Weight loss is a journey. Getting the weight off is one thing, but keeping it off is another monster within itself, okay? And it's not a monster like a bad thing, but it just, it takes a lot to keep your weight off. If you're a person like me who just overeat by nature, you know, and it's not by nature, child, it's just because you're greedy, okay? I'm greedy too, I can admit that. But if you're t the type of person that overeat, it, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? I understand, I totally get it, I understand. And at this time, we have nothing to do really but sit in the house, work from home, if you're not an essential worker, you know, work from home or take care of the kids and do different things like that and watch TV, eat or do your homework if you're in college. I don't know what's going on with you, okay? I'm just telling you, I understand that it's hard and you are not in this by yourself. I gained 13, lost 19. You can do it too, okay? You can do it. Take away from this. You can do it. Don't feel down on yourself. Don't sit up there and beat yourself up. It's not worth it. It's not worth it because all you'll do is make yourself feel worse than what you are now. And you are more than that, okay? You are more than that. You're worth a lot more than that. I don't care who you are, young, old, male, female, whatever. 
I'm telling you that it's okay to be okay with you. You just need to lose some weight. That's it. Simple as that. It's that simple, I promise you. But anyway, um, yeah, you guys, I'll do a follow-up video on this, like a part two showing you guys what I'm eating and, you know, breaking down different macros and showing you guys how to count calories, different things like that. I got that video coming up next week. So stay on the lookout for that video. Set your notification so you'll be notified when I do post a video. If you were not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for after all of these tips I just gave you? Follow me on Instagram at Keisha Rose too, and I will see you guys in the another video next time. Leave me some of your stuff down below. What are you doing to lose weight? How much weight did you gain? I put myself out there on the line. Put yourself out there on the line. Okay. Let's encourage each other and motivate each other and lift each other up in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video next time. Bye fools.